I'm sure new year na new year na po kayo, you'll be preparing. But again, most importantly, we are so excited on hearing God's word. And siguro po, I would like to uh, start my greetings, our family's greeting to you. A happy, happy and blessed new year to each and everyone. Happy new year po sa inyong lahat. Ayan po. Hindi po namin bahay yan, nanginain lang po kami, kaya kami nagpakuha ng picture dyan. <laughs> so, happy new year po sa inyong lahat. And before we um, proceed with the message, we'd like to uh, request everyone to please stand up as we open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you God for this wonderful morning that you have given us. Maraming po salamat sa pagdala niyo po sa amin sa oras nito. Again, di po Panginoon, panalangin po namin that you continue to open our hearts and our minds that we will... Lord God, accept your word with clarity, simplicity. Also, we pray that you continue to transform our lives as we hear and obey your words, Lord God. Lord, ganun din po, Panginoon, sa akin, itago niyo po ko sa inyong likuran, Lord, so that your name will be lifted up. Use me as a footstool of your message. Lord God, kayo po ang patuloy na maluwalhati, Panginoon, ganun din maging klaro po ang bawat mensahe na aming pakikinggan. And Lord, tunay nga, Panginoon, hindi po kami aalis dito na hindi kalakip ang pagpapala na lang gagaling sa iyong salita and as you continue to bless us for this uh, 2018 Lord God, may your word continue to dwell in our hearts that we will walk according to your will and according to your purpose marami pong salamat and this we pray in Jesus name Amen, Amen Sige po, you may now take your seats so <clears throat> we'll be talking about um, in the Old Testament in Numbers we'll begin in Numbers chapter 13 verses 21 to 23 babasahin ko lang po sa inyo yung konteksto ng ating pag-uusapan this morning. In Numbers 13, verse 21 says, So they went up and explored the land from the desert of Zin as far as Rehob, toward Libo, Hamath. And they went up through the Negev and came to Hebron, where Ahima, Sheshai, and Talmai, the descendants of Anak, lived. When they reached the valley of Eshkol, they cut off a branch bearing a single cluster of grapes. Two of them carried it on a pole to get uh, between them along with some pomegranate and figs. That place was called the Valley of Eshkol because of the cluster of graves the Israelites cut off there. At the end of the 40 days, they returned from exploring the land. They came back to Moses and Aaron and the whole Israelite community at Kadesh in the desert of Paran. There, they reported to them, to the whole assembly and showed them the fruit of the land. They gave Moses this account. We went into the land to which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. Here is its fruit. But the people who live there are powerful, and the cities are fortified with very large and very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. The Malachites live in the Negev, the Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites live in the hill country. And the Canaanites live near the sea along the Jordan. Then Caleb, Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. But the man who had gone up with him said, We can attack those people. They are stronger than we are. But, and they spread among the Israelites a bad report about the land they had explored. They said, the land we explored divorce those living in it. All the people we saw there are of great size. Ito po nangyari. We saw the Nephilim there, the descendants of Anak, come from the Nephilim. We seem like grasshopper in our own eyes and we look the same to them. Alam niyo po, this 2018, we have targets. Meron po tayong mga agenda, meron po tayong plano for 2018. Some of which... Yung plans po natin are, alam po natin, maganda ang plano po natin. And from that time, we plan that even in business, we try to plan business na maging successful, even in our employed, maging successful. You interview natin going abroad, we are also praying, kasi sa mga, mga kasama po sa mga prayer requests na aking pinapanalangin is for employment, business, going or working abroad. We have plans and we have goals in 2018. Same thing, with the promises of God through Israel. God showed Israel, the Israelites, alam niyo po yung story na yon. Moses, um, again, assigned 12 spies to spy on the land of Canaan. And through that, they saw no, uh, a land flowing with milk and honey. 
wherein they saw yung isang putol, isang bugkos lang ng ubas, kailangan dalawang tao pa magbubuhat. Kasi siguro yung ubas yung kasi laki na isang ulo ng tao, isang ubas pa lang, seedless pa yun ha, sipin nyo. Ganon kalaki yung ubas na talagang bibit-bitin pa ng dalawang tao. Ganon po ka-flourishing yung pangako ng Panginoon sa kanila. Yet, There are times doon sa pagpunta nila, nakita rin, bagamat malaking prutas kasi malalaki pa rin tao ang kumakain. Mga higante, wala na si body kanina eh. May yung malaking tao, mga malaki, matatangkad. Talagang more than seven footer yung kalakihan nila. These are giants. Now, this is the situation wherein maganda yung plano natin sa 2018, yet we face giants in our life. And we will be facing giants in our life. Ano yon? Maganda plano nyo? Nakaset na kayo? Maya maya, may darating, may kakatok sa pintu niyo. 2018 na. Eto na. Ako na ang lahat. Ako na magahare. Yayaman ako. Magiging milyonaryo ako 2018. Bilang may kakatok, ma'am. Kuryente po. Ako. Di ko pa na sama sa plano yan. Kala ko biglang yayaman ako. Magtatang yung mga past due accounts nandyan na. Unti unti. No, sunod-sunod. Yung binayaran natin, yung pinurchase natin no October, no? Purchase now, pay later. Ano nangyari? January 2018 ang bayaran. Nagkasabay-sabay yung magandang plano natin in our life, in our career, eto na. Sumusunod-sunod na. At after this new year, yung iba January 2, yung iba January 3 papasok. No, magandang outlook sa buhay. Magtatrabaho ko sapagkat lahat ng gagawin ko for 2018 magiging maayos. Biglang sasalubungin ka ng traffic. Ayan na naman ang parking lot sa EDSA. Lahat humihinto. Ultimo MRT. Tingnan nyo, nakahinto. Lahat humihinto. Ibig sabihin, yung plano ninyo, most of the times we are being stopped by those trials or even those giants in our life. Or even... Yes, nakapasok ka naman, pagpasok mo. From December 21, naka-vacation mode ka na. Ah, mamaya na yan. Ah, pagpasok ko na lang. Ah, may paper man. Ah, bukas na yan. Baka vacation mode na ako eh. Maya-maya, pagpasok mo ng Martes o ng, Luna, ng Merkules, puno-puno ka na ng trabaho. Hindi mo pala na-file lahat ng mga gagawin mo. Mag, yung year-end report, hindi pa rin nagawa. Kaya nga parang pagod na pagod ka. Unang araw pa lang ng pagpasok, parang ayaw mo nang pumasok sapagkat natatambakan ka na naman ng trabaho, na panghihinaan ka naman loob. Yung mga bata, nag-enjoy! No? Christmas! Ikay tayo! Enchanted Kingdom! Buta tayo sa ganitong lugar! Burakay tayo! Outing! Lahat pupunta sa ganitong lugar! Maya-maya, pagpapasok ng January 4, anong nangyayari sa mga bata? Pagod na pagod. Puyat, puyat dito. Puyat pa more. Puyat pa doon. Puyat pa more. Yung iba, kain ng kain. Di ba? Tignan yung katabi ninyo. 10 pounds, no? <laughs> Isa, 15 pounds. Di ba? From December 24 lang yan. Hanggang dito ngayon, December 31. Wala pang bagong taon, mamayang gabi, no? So, yung iba, sige, I'll try to exercise. Susubukan ko mag-exercise. And yet, di ba, minsan may struggle pa rin sa pag-e-exercise. Parang nakikita mo kutsun yung pinag e mo. Pakasal, di ba? Sana makilala ko yung pakakasalang ko. <laughs> so, minsan we are Uh, worried of not marrying, of we are, we are worried of uh, walang, hindi, walang magpapakasal o hindi matutuloy yung kasal. Marami pa rin alalahanin. Or even, in 2018, you are worried about getting sick. Naku Lord, ang dami ko nararamdaman. Pag 50 plus na, iba na lakad ko. Ika, ika na. Panay gout, kain ka na kain ng laman loob, isaw, di ba? laman loob, kare-kare. Lahat kinain. So minsan, inaabot sa sakit. Or at times, we are afraid to invest because yung political stability natin, not just in the Philippines, even abroad, maraming problema sa iba't ibang leadership ng bansa. You're afraid to invest. You're afraid na magkaroon ng uh, 
uh, kaya gusto mo mag-abroad, kaya ka gusto mo sa ibang bansa, sapagkat alam mo na hindi maganda magiging sitwasyon on 2018. These are your perspective, or this may be our perspective, or takot tayo baka, naku baka lumindol, naku baka may calamity. Alam niyo po kahapon, praise God, nasunog po, sandali lang, butin, pinigilan ng Panginoon, medyo nasunog po din sa likod natin sa Super 8, and uh, na-controlled naman, and kung, kung hindi, talagang wala kayo pagpaparkingan pa. Pero buti na lang, praise God, na iningatan tayo ng Panginoon. And mukhang tinutulak na tayo kasi palabas eh. Mukhang nahihirapan na kayo pumasok dito. Eh, no? Please pray also na we'll be having a larger place and a more uh, ample parking for our ve new venue. We, uh, help us pray with that. So takot tayo minsan. Baka may bagyo. Isipin nyo na lang yung climate change. Ngayon po, January, nung Pasko, meron pong bagyo. Ngayong magong taon, meron ng low pressure area sa Philippine Area of Responsibility. It will be, in turn, will be coming a typhoon. So lahat ng ito, because of the climate change, natatakot tayo, baka bumaha. Pag, umak pag nasa lugar ka ng kainta, taytay, baka lumubog. Pag umakit ka naman, baka lumindol. Baka naman pagpunta mo sa isang lugar, baka bulkan yung nataniman na tayo ang mong bahay. Baka gumuho. So these things, we are so afraid of like the Israelites. Ito ang pangako ng Panginoon, yet napipigilan tayo because marami tayong mga takot sa ating buhay. Tignan niyo katabi niyo, para ba siyang takot sa asawa niya? Hindi, hindi. <laughs> para ba siyang takot? But there, one, there's one person that stand out and this person is Caleb. Caleb. Si Caleb po or si Caleb is the descendant of Judah. And this, uh, this person, si Caleb, is one of the 12 spies that returned. And he returned with the good news. Kasama ni Joshua. Dalawa lang sa kanila ang nagbalita ng good news. The rest of the 10 spies, ano po ginawa? Ang binalita ay bad news. Diba? Sinabi niya nga, the, uh, the land is flowing with milk and honey. And maraming grapes. Pero nakakatakot yung mga tao doon. Mga higante. Para tayong mga tipaklong kapag tayo aapakan lang. But Caleb stood out. Sabi rito in verse 30, <coughs> it says, Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. Sabi mo sa katabi nyo, we can do it. Lahat ng, sa tingin ninyong magandang plano ng Panginoon ninyo, Panginoon, sa inyo, then we know that we can do it. If you are praying for God's hand on your work, if you are praying for God's blessing on your family, if you are praying for a new career in your work and even your love life, God will certainly do it. Ang Panginoon po ang magbibigay sa atin. So our title for today is Live by Faith on 2018. Live by Faith on 2018. 18. Tignan niyo po sa katabi niyo. Mukha bang may panalampalataya siya sa Panginoon? You have to live by faith on 2018. Sabi sa katabi mo, live by faith. Let us live by faith on 2018. This coming year, tomorrow na po yan, no? we have to live by faith next year or this 2018. So how do we live by faith? We'll be learning from Caleb on how his faith no, brought him to God's blessing how his faith brought him to the promised land. So how do we live by faith? Number one, we should have confidence in God. Confidence in God. Kailangan po may confidence in God. Sabi mo sa katabi mo again, confidence in God. We should have confidence in God. When you say confidence, ito po yung sinasabi. Confidence is seeing God beyond our problem. Yes, may problema po tayo. Sino po ba sa buhay natin, past 2017, walang problema? Kami po, nagkaroon po kami ng problema. Sino po nakaranas ang problema, 2017? And I'm sure, 2018, you will be encountering problem. But the good thing is, we will have confidence. Let us put our dependence on God. Confidence is seeing God beyond our problem. Kung titignan natin, yung mga problema nandiyan, pero kung titignan mo, mas malaki ang Panginoon kesa sa ating mga problema. Ito po sinasabi. Numbers chapter 13. They gave Moses this account. We went into the land to which you sent us. 
and it does flow with milk and honey. Here is its fruit. Pinakita. No? But the people who live there are powerful and the cities are fortified with very and very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. No? The Amalekites live in the Negev. The Hittites, Jebusites, and the Amorites live in the hill country. And the Canaanites live near the sea and along the Jordan. Ito po ang ginawa ng ni Caleb. Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up, take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. Isipin ninyo, napakaliit lang ng Israel compared sa mga uh, Amalekites, sa mga land ng uh, Canaanites, mga Jebusites, ang makakalaban nila, mga higanti po. Saan nakuha ni Caleb itong kalakasan? His dependence on God. His confidence on God. Alam niyo po, when we are teaching our children, we're teaching our children not the self-confidence, but it's more on God-confidence. Kasi pag self-confidence, sinasabi mo, pag lumaki mo yabang, sa kanya eh. Sa akin kasi. Pero if you are God-confident, you know that your strength will be coming from the Lord. Alam niyo po, napakaganda, if you rely on God, if you depend on God, Yung mga bagay sa tingin ninyo, imposibleng mangyari. And yet, nangyari, these are because of the power of our Lord God. And even the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alam niyo po ang maganda rito? Yung mga bagay na imposibleng mangyari at nangyari, dahil hindi niyo kagagawan, sapagkat gagawa ng Panginoon, sino nag-glorify? It is God who will be glorified. Then again, Caleb depended on God. His confidence is with the Lord. Kaya nga sinasabi rito, confidence is trusting God and believing He can and do what He promised. Tandaan po natin, marami po ang pangako sa atin ng Panginoon. More than 7,000 promises that you have in the Bible. All you have to do is to claim those promises. Alam niyo po, in the bank, pag nagtatrabaho ko sa banko, Kapag inisyon ko kaya, kunyari, ng, um, si Brother Wilbert, binigyan ko ng cheque, ito, Brother Wilbert, 10,000. Yung 10,000 niya, hindi niya pwede pambilian sa grocery. Cheque po yun eh. Ano kailangan niyang gawin? Kailangan niya i-encash. Yung encash na term is to claim it. When you say encash, another term is to claim. When you claim that check, it means that they, the bank will be paying you the amount inside that check into cash. That is claiming. And that is the promises of the Lord. God may be, parang ang dating eh, God issued you a check. Ito po yung uh, parang uh, uh, illustration. God issued you that check, that promises, those promises, all you have to do is to claim it to the Lord. Meron nga, di ba? Marami nga kami, meron nga kami kinuha ang bahay. P- ano, 20 years to pay. Alam niyo po, hindi yun. Meron kang 20 years to pray. Because God will give it to you. All you have to do is to believe and trust in the Lord that He will do and again, He will be the one fulfilling His promises to us. Confidence is trusting God in believing He can and do what He promised. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, yung pangako po ng Panginoon, talagang tutu pa rin niya. Ito po sinasabi, The Lord is not slow in, pakibasa po, keeping His promise. As some understand slowness. Alam niyo po, when you ask God, when you come to hear to Him in prayer and believe on Him, sabi, the Lord is not slow in keeping His promise. All you have to do is to claim to His promises. All you have to do is to come to Him and have confidence in Him that He will be the one to provide the way out. He will be the one to provide everything to you. Alam niyo po, hindi po maikli ang kamay ng Panginoon upang hindi abutin ang ating mga pangailangan. Hindi rin po bingi ang ating, mga, ang ating Panginoon upang hindi dinggin ang ating mga panalangin. All we have to do is come before the Lord and trust everything to Him. Parang sinasabi niyo, Lord, this 2018, I'm giving you a blank paper. Kayo po ang gumuhit ng kalooban niyo po para sa akin. We may plan, but it is God's will that will continue to prevail. At minsan, dahil marami tayong uh, pinangahawakang pangako, minsan yung mga kasama natin, yun yung nagsasabing, Naku, huwag ka na magtiwala. Mag-invest ka na lang dito, yayamang ka pa. 3% ang interest. I-issue ang kapanang post data check. Ano ang gagawin mo lang? Sanla mo lang yung ano mo. 
yung lupa mo, o yung titulo lang. Di ba? Yung mga iba sinasabi na ganito lang gawin, ganun lang gawin mo. Huwag ka na magpray. Matalino ka naman, kaya mo naman yan. But sinasabi rito, these are people who grumble. Na minsan nakaka-influence sa atin. Di po ba? Kapag yung isang humikab, parang yung taong humikab, di yung katabi, humikab na. Minsan nahihiya pa sa pastor, pinipigilan pero naluluha. Ang sakit sa panga, di ba? Nakakahawa. Ganon din po ang grumbling. Ito po nangyari sa mga Israelita. But the men who had gone up with him said, We can attack those people. They are stronger than we are. Moses, malalaki yun. Talo tayo. Sila may werpa, tayo wala. Di ba? And they spread among the Israelites a bad report about the land they had explored. At times, meron po nangyari. Meron plano ang kumpanya. Oh, 2018, ito ang management, ito gagawin. Nako, malabo yan, boss. Hindi natin matutupad yan. Di ba? Okay, even in the ministry, ito gagawin natin. Nako, nako, hihirap naman. Ang daming mga nagre-reklamo. Ang daming nag-grumbling. Ito po sinasabi about grumbling. Complaining, grumbling, and doubting God's character are symptoms of unbelief. Nako, ang hirap yan. Hindi natin kaya yan. Eh, dito na nga lang, paray traffic, paano pa ba tayo sa CCF Taytay? Alam niyo po, if you continue to complain and, grum and grumble, you would know that the God, nakikita niya, that you are doubting God. Alam niyo po, ang good report about CCF Taytay, in spite of the traffic, we are on the 1,100 plus na po. In spite of those traffic. Palakpakan po, palak po natin ang ating Panginoon. Part of which, alam niyo po, CCF Tatay have done their part, our admin have done their part, we coordinated with our uh, talagang traffic management, with mayor, talagang ito po yung problema, traffic po talaga. But then again, God will continue to provide a way na hindi lang 1,000 na maabot natin, will be more than 2,000 by the next years to come. Palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. What we can see now is that the miracle of God, alam niyo po, in spite of that, Nakakatuwa po dahil may traffic na papatingala sila. Uy, may church pala rito. 'Di ba? Ang tagal na kalaman. Ano ba? Uy, may CCF pala. Yung mga nagtsatsangge alam niyo po, blessing rin po 'yan. Sa pagkat yung mga namimili, nagkamot lang sa ulo. Uy, may CCF. Kaya may mga makikita mo sa welcome. Saan po kay galing? Sa Changge. Hindi pala nagche-church, nagtsatsangge. Nakita lang may church, may CCF. So blessing po na may traffic kasi marami po nakakita na may church din pala dito sa Taytay. And praise God for that because God will continue to find ways. Ayan. Praise God. Again, let us stop complaining. Alam niyo po, talaga po lahat, ultimo po ako na traffic din. Maski pastor, hindi po ako exempted sa traffic. Alam niyo po ba, pastor, exempted sa traffic? Dahil kukunin na lang ng Panginoon sa bahay, lalagay na sa church para mag-message. Hindi rin po. Inaabutan din po kami ng traffic. So lahat po tayo. But a good thing about it is that we can trust everything. everything to God and we will continue to stop grumbling. Amen. <coughs> May nakaalala. Diyan naman nanay ko, naalala ko. <coughs> Do you see God more or you see your problems more? In 2018, would you rely on God in everything or would you be afraid of the problems that you will be encountering this year? Do you see God more? Or would you see your problems more than God? Our life application, again, let us put our confidence in God. Ano pong gagawin natin in life application? Pakibasa po. Complaining, start, depending on God, and count His blessings. Alam niyo po, <coughs> if you put your confidence in God, ang focus mo ngayon sa Panginoon, hindi sa problema. When you focus on God, you will continue to depend on Him because you will see that God is powerful. He's awesome. Makita natin yung Colossians. He is supreme in everything. And when you continue to see God and when you continue to trust in the Lord, less and less of the worries, less and less of the concerns, less and less of the problem that you will encounter. Hindi encounter, you may encounter problem, pero pa pababa na pababa yung attention mo sa problema, sapagkat mas ang attention mo nakafocus sa Panginoon. This 2018, as we put our confidence in God, let us depend on Him and let's count the blessing. 
hindi yung reklamo. Alam niyo po, when you count your blessing, you will be amazed how God is faithful to you in 2018, uh, 2017. How many of you have received God's blessing 2017? Tapos po kamay. Praise God! Palakpakan po natin ng Panginoon. Alam niyo po, I really praise God because I experienced God's hand and God's blessing in my life. Alam niyo po, I've been, uh, I've been full-time for four, more, more than four years. Alam niyo yung, yung blessing na binibigay sa akin ng Panginoon? Ngayon pa lang, kaya lumalaki. Meron ako sinuot na pantalon, pinalitan ko kanina, hindi na kasi. Medyo galit na galit yung tiyang ko eh. Alam niyo po bakit? Kasi po, yung blessing ko makatok sa pinto namin. Kung makatok kasi merong pagkain. Ay, Christmas party po nandig. Ay, thank you, thank you. Ay, Christmas party. Buong araw. <laughs> Mula, almusal. Meron kami na encounter ni Sheila. Almusal, tanghalian, hapunan. Wala kami ginastos. Ang Panginoon ang nag-provide. Praise God for that. Small things. Dinner, lunch, breakfast. God provided. At ito pa. Minsan may kakasulubong ka sa supermarket. Pastor, ay, biglang maghahal, maglalakad ka lang, may tumatak mo, hinahabol ka ng blessing. Pastor, mayroon po akong bibigay sa inyo. Those things, the, the grocery man yan, pagkain man yan, maliit na bagay o malaking bagay, you can count all those blessings. Alam niyo po, how much have you saved? Na alam niyo po, na hindi, pinagbawal yung paputok. Ilan yung mga anak niyo hindi nakabili ng paputok. O di meron pa kayong savings pang noche buena. Ang dami niyong savings, hindi nasunog yung bahay niyo. Then, you save a lot of money, millions of money. Instead of complaining, traffic, ang hirap pag-park. Just, just imagine, maraming tao nakapila sa shuttle para makasakay pa away. Ikaw nagmamaneho, nagre-reklamo ka lang sa traffic. Yung iba walang sasakay, nagpipray. Lord, maski owner man lang. Lord, maski hindi pa jack man lang, meron ako. Pero tayo may sasakyan, naka-aircon. Pero nagre-reklamo pa tayo. You just count the blessing that God has for you. Just imagine yung sasakyan nyo, hindi tumirik. No? Hindi tumirik dahil maayos. Ilang libong piso ang nasave ninyo kung hindi nasira alternator. Hindi nasira yung, uh, yung inyong um, uh, aircon. Ang laki ng naging savings natin. Just imagine that for the past 2017, instead of complaining, let us learn to thank God for everything. Just imagine... Kung ang pag nagreklamo, kada reklamo, pinipigil ng Panginoon, hininga mo. Ha, reklamo ka pa, ha? Sige, ito, babawasan natin oxygen mo. Nagre-reklamo ka eh. Sige, re- oh, reklamo ka pa, o oh, 50% na lang hininga mo. Just imagine yung katabi niyo humihinga. Ikaw hindi. Ang hirap, di ba? Libre hininga eh. But you thank God for that because you are alive right now. And you are all well. And praise God for that. Palakpakan po natin ng Panginoon. So, for trusting God in everything, let us stop complaining and start depending on God and count His blessings. Alam niyo po, napakaganda po, when we were praying, later on, ah, si Sheila po, kapag nung bagong kasal kami, I'm sure that I have shared it with you, si Sheila po, nung bagong kasal kami, meron nagregalo sa amin ng Bible. She would write down mga prayer requests. And uh, dun sa kabilang side, yung prayer requests, yung mga answered prayers. Later on, ikukwento ko po. Alam niyo, I'm sure that God will answer us. Pero alam niyo po, God is really faithful to us. Let us count all the blessing that God has for us. So, to walk in faith, let us stop complaining. No, let us continue to depend on God and let us count our blessings. So, live by faith on 2018. Live by faith on 2018. Ano pa po? Pangalawa is obedience to God. Kanina, Ano po? Sabi nga, confidence in God. Ngayon po, obedience. If you have dependency, if you depend or you have confidence in God, kalakip doon yung pagtitiwala o yung pagsunod. Kapag mahal nyo, sino po ba nagmamahal sa Panginoon? So kapag mahal po natin ng Panginoon, handa po tayong sumunod sa Kanya. Amen po ba? Kasi pag mahal mo Panginoon, napaka-imposible na hindi ka susunod. Maaring umaatid lang tayong church, pero hindi mo mahal Panginoon sapagkat hindi ka susunod sa Kanya. Pero for those people who love God, then definitely, yung obedience kalakip doon. Kasama ang pagsunod. There is great, no? There is a great reward for obedience. May reward po sa mga taong sumusunod sa Panginoon. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, may reward ka. Dahil sumusunod ka sa Panginoon. Alam niyo po, napakaganda po kasi sapagkat ang pagsunod sa Panginoon, meron talagang Malaking ganti pala. These are rewards from the Lord. And we can learn from Caleb on how he obeyed the Lord. 
In Numbers chapter 14, verse 24, ito po sinasabi, ang Panginoon po nagsalata, but because my servant <coughs> Caleb has a different spirit and follows me, ano po? Wholeheartedly. So that is why I will bring him into the land he went to and in his descendants will inherit it. Just imagine that if by obeying God, by just obeying God, yung inheritance hindi lang kay Caleb sa papumunta sa kanyang descendants. Yung kaapo-apuhan niya, makakamtan yung pagpapala ng Panginoon dahil yung tatay sumunod sa Panginoon. Mga tatay, nasa po? Tasa ang kamay. I'm sure that you ha- oh, all fathers, di ba? Uh, last week po, di ba? Mga fathers, do not exasperate. Husband, love your wife. If we just obey God, ano pa mangyari? Ultimate mga apo mo, apo mo sa tuhod, makakamtan yung pagpapala. Because your obedience will brought, bring forth those blessings from the Lord because we obeyed God. And ano pa? Ito po, fast forward, Joshua. From Numbers, yung uh, after 45 years, kasi they conquered Israel o yung Canaan after 40 years. Tapos yung mga remaining neighboring uh, towns, five years pa nila bago nakuha yung buong Canaan. So Joshua chapter 14, verse 7, sabi, ito si Caleb, I was 40 years old. When Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me to Kadesh Bernea. So yung kwento ng numbers, 40 years ago. So fast forward tayo, 45 years ago. No, 40 years old niya, 85 na po si uh, Caleb. And I brought him back a report according to my convictions. But my brothers who went up with me made the hearts of the people melt with fear. Ito yung mga taong nega. Tignan yung katabi niyo. Hindi na. Hindi na kasi they depend on God. They have God confidence. I, Caleb, however, followed the Lord. Sabi niyo, followed the Lord. Every one of us, as children of God, needs to follow our Lord. I, however, followed the Lord, my God, ano pa? Wholeheartedly, buong puso. At ano po ang reward Ito po. So on that day, Moses swore to me, the land on which your feet have walked will be your inheritance and that your children forever. Sa kanila may forever, no? Forever. Because you have followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. Alam niyo po, when you obey God, yung pagpapala nandoon. Nandoon yung kalakip. Sumunod lang po tayo sa Panginoon. But most of the time, Ilang messages na ng pastor, ilang messages na sa D-group, matigas lang talaga ang ating puso. Matigas lang ang ating ulo. Yan, katukin niyo po yung ulo. <laughs> Tignan niyo kung matigas. Minsan, nandiyan na yung salita ng Panginoon. Nandiyan na yung mensahe ng Panginoon. Hindi, Lord, ito gagawin ko. Kasi nagmamadali ako eh. Lord, itong gagawin ko kasi baka hindi yun yung tugon mo sa akin eh. Pero because Caleb followed the Lord wholeheartedly, the inheritance was given to him. even to the next generation. Alam niyo po, Caleb meditated and applied God's word. How are we in applying God's word? Alam niyo po, obedience is reading and applying God's word in our life. Bakit po? No? Again, obedience is ju- it, it's not just reading. Yes, kasama pagbabasa. But applying God's word in your life. Just imagine, last week lang, you message natin, children, obey your parents. Because this is a command with a promise so that you may have long life. Question, simula nung Sunday hanggang ngayon, children, have you obeyed your parents? Anak, wag ka muna magbo-boyfriend. Eh, Pasko, may, wala akong regalo pag Pasko eh. Saan cute-cute naman niya eh. Bagay kami, di ba? Oo nga, bagay nga. Papakain mo ba siya? Eh, wala nga trabaho, hindi nga nag-aaral. Oh, or, ma, gusto ko siya, eh, Christian ba siya? Eh, hindi, pangalan niya, Christian. Do, do, those things. Have we obeyed our parents? Have we honored our parents for the past, eto, one week lang po. Sabi rito, obedience is reading and applying God's word in our life. Papano na meditate ni Ni, ni Caleb, yung salita ng Panginoon. Ito po yung sinasabi. Now behold, the Lord, balik sa Joshua, no, has let me live just as He spoke. 
Alam niyo po, when you are obeying God's word, laging sariwa ang salita ng Panginoon. This was 45 years ago. Just as He spoke this 45 years from the time that the Lord spoke this word to Moses. Just imagine the word of God after 45 years still fresh pa rin sa isip at sa puso ni Caleb because he is reading and obeying God's word daily. That is living by faith. Kamusta po ang daily devotion natin? In our family series, di po ba, yung ating minefield that the parents, magulang, even for the family, kailan po yung huling family devotion ninyo? I'm sure you have your personal devotion. Pero kamusta po yung family devotion natin? Kamusta po yung Bible reading po natin? Diba? Yung iba dibdiban ko magbasa ng Bible. Pagbasa ng Bible, nasa dibdib na, nakatulog. Diba? Dibdiban. Nasa dibdib yung salita ng Panginoon. Hanggang bukas na yan. Parang feeling mo, naninikip yung dibdib. Ang bigat kasi ng Bible kinuha mo eh. Diba? Parang hirap kang minga ngayon. Pero ang sinasabi rito, Caleb obeyed God and even The word of God was planted in his heart. Kaya nga sabi rito, do not, do not waste the word of God when you read the Bible, seek to apply it. Seek to apply it. Alam niyo po, there are consequences of not obeying. There are, con- there are consequences of not obeying or disobeying God. Napakabigat po yung consequence. Ito po rito, the cost of disobedience is also expensive. Ano po nangyari? <coughs> In Numbers chapter 14, sa mga taong sumunod, sa mga taong nega, ito po mangyayari sa mga taong nega. Not one of the men who saw my glory and the miraculous signs I performed in Egypt and in the desert, but who disobeyed me and tested me ten times, ano po nangyari? Not one of them will ever see the land I promise. On oath to their forefathers, no one who has ever treated with me with contempt, will ever see it. <coughs> sa mga taong hindi nalampalatay sa Panginoon, yung pangako hindi makukuha sapagkat nawala yung kanilang tiwala sa Panginoon. At may balik po sa mga taong hindi sumusunod sa Panginoon. And in 2018, you have a tough decision to have. It's either to obey or disobey. To obey or disobey. So life application and obedience, ano po gagawin natin? Stop disobeying God. Start obeying God by reading and applying His Word. Basahin po natin ulit. One, two, three, go. Start obeying God by reading and applying His Word. Tayo po tayo. Sige po, tayo po tayo para mabasa po. Malakas po natin mabasahin. One, two, three, Go. Thank you. You may now take your seats. And by obeying, kanina, sabi nga eh, dependence on God or confidence in God, no? let us stop complaining and it, let us start depending on God and count His blessing. Ngayon ang paham po, yung point number two is obedience. Let us stop disobeying God and start obeying God by reading and applying His Word. So let us live by faith on 2018. Let us live by faith next year or tomorrow. Ayan po. Again, how do we live by faith? Confidence in God. Pag confidence in God, anong ap- application natin? Stop complaining. No? Start depending on God and count His blessing. So in confidence in God, let us stop complaining. Let us start depending on God and let us count all those blessings that God has provided for us. And in obedience to God, ano pong gagawin natin? Let us stop disobeying and let us obey God, ano po? By reading and applying God's Word. So in confidence in God, let us stop complaining, let us depend on Him and count the blessing. And in obedience to God, let us stop disobeying Him and let us start obeying Him by reading and applying His words. Okay, so may application po tayo pag uwi natin ha. In confidence, ano ulit? Let us depend on God and count God's blessing. Para may kli, depend on God, count His blessing, stop complaining. 
confidence. Obedience, stop disobeying, start obeying, ano pa? And start reading and applying God's word. That is in obedience. Pangatlo po, how do we live? By faith in 2018, let us be patient. True patience. Tingin nyo katabi nyo, sabi mo patience. Pag may traffic, ano sabi mo sa kanya? Patience. Sa grocery, maski 24 hours ang SM, ang haba pa rin. Yung iba, yung iba basket, ginagawa niya, nilalagay niya sa pushcart yung basket para nakapushcart siya. Mas maikli daw pila. Di ba? Patience. Yung iba, hirap na hirap na sa traffic, gusto pa mag-counterflow. Eh, babara ka rin naman. Ano kailangan? Patience. Akin, sabi mo, sa katabi mo, patience. Ayan, patience. Faith, no, means, if you walk by faith, or if you live by faith, faith means you're willing to wait for God to answer and fulfill His promise. Alam niyo po, pinakamahirap po is waiting. I'm sure. You wait in line, pagpapasok ka, pipila ka sa shuttle, pipila ka sa tricycle, tapos yung sinakyan mo, pipila rin sa traffic. Laging pila. Ito ang bansa ng pila. Pagpasok mo ngayon sa opisina, nakapila ka kasi yung biometric, isa lang. Yung bandit clock, isa lang. Kumulalit na ako, kumulalit na ako. Di ba? Pila pa rin. Pagpunta sa kantin, anong nangyari? Pila pa rin. Di ba? Tapos, pagkataas kumain, magsisiar, ano nangyayari? Pila pa rin. So we have to be patient. Patient. Yeah, kailangan po. Ako po, kailangan ko rin po yun. Alam niyo po, talagang we are tested with patience. Even in Taytay, saan kang lugar. Kaya nga, alam niyo po, CCF, CCF Center, problema rin nila parking. Patience din kailangan nila kasi lahat din po tayo na ang kailangan ng patience. Ito po nangyari. Joshua chapter 14, verse 10. Now behold, the Lord has let me live just as He spoke this 45 years from the time that the Lord spoke this word to Moses. Alam niyo po, yung lupang pangako na sinabi niya dun sa Kadesh Bernea, during that time that they will have to decide kung lulusubin o hindi, that was 45 years ago. Yung pangako na nakamtan nila, after 45 years pa nakuha ni Caleb. Isipin niyo, 40 years sila nung lumabas sa Egypt, nung ikakanker nila yung Canaan, another 40, 40 years, 45 years. So just imagine kung gano'y yung waiting period ni Caleb para makuha yung lupang pangako. So doon sa mga dalaga, hindi ko sinasabing 45 years. Lupa, lupa ho pinag-uusapan dito, hindi boyfriend. So if you are praying, then you learn how to wait and be patient. When you learn and when you pray, I'm sure that God will continue to give the desires of your heart. Now behold, He spoke this 45 years from the time the Lord spoke this word to Moses when Israel walked in the wilderness. And now behold, I am 85 years old today. But because He is waiting, He is patient. Ano po nangyari? I am still as strong today as I was in the day Moses sent me. As my strength was then, so my strength is now for war and for going out and coming in. Alam niyo, if you are patient, Mawawala yung ano niyo eh, yung taas ng BP niyo. Patient si Caleb, humaba buhay. Eh, sino yung mga unang namamatay? Yung mga mainitin ng ulo. Beep! Uh-huh. Galit palagi. Ikaw talaga! Ikaw talaga! Galit! Ikaw! Uh, patay. 45, patay. Hindi umaabot. But because Caleb is patient, pag may pila sa Jollibee, sa fast food, sige May burger kayo. Ay, wala na po. Chicken. Spaghetti. Magsara na kayo. Ah, lupet. Pet malu. Di ba? Ano po nangyayari? Because Caleb is waiting on the Lord, is patiently waiting on God. Even his strength. Alam niyo yung kalakasan ni 85? Ang lakas pa, makikipagdigma pa. Just imagine yung strength na pinagkalob sa kanya ng Panginoon. Because of his patience. Kamusta po tayo in waiting on the Lord. Now, sabi, eto na, give me the hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard that that the Anakites were there and their cities were large and fortified. But the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as He said. At in Joshua chapter 30, uh, 14 verse 13, then Joshua 
blessed Caleb, son of Jebune, and gave him Hebron as his inheritance. If we wait on the Lord, if we have patience in waiting on God, then you will reap the reward. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, just be patient. Na dyan na yung sagot ng Panginoon. Minsan parang, eto na lang ang pagitan. Nag-give up pa tayo eh. Di ba? Parang, alam nyo kanina, kahapon that I have to, to confess to you? Kausap ko na si Sheila sa telepono. Supermarket. Kaya nga po na ano eh. Patience. Ha, uh, mahal, wala na yung pinabibili mo. Yung isang item na lang. Sabi ko, wag na lang kasi ahapa pa na pila. Ha, pipila pa tayo. Hindi ko alam. Yung bunso ko, matis, mas mas discarded sa tatay, nakapila na para pagkuha ng item, ibibigay na lang kay, ng, sa bunso. So he has to leave the, the line. Kasi sabi ko, wag na. Tapos nung pagkita ko, Uy, sayang pala sana hindi mo na lang hindi ka na umalis. Hindi mo naman sinabi na nakapila si Coco. Because I am not patient na pipila pa lahat. Hindi ko nabili yung kailangan namin bilhin for to, uh, today. So anong nangyari? Hindi namin talaga nabili that we have to ask one of our sis, uh, yung aking sister-in-law to buy those things. Ano niya po? If you are not patient, then you cannot have it. Eh. 'Di ba? nag apply ka ng Uh, lisensya. Pag hindi ka marunong pumila, ano gagawin mo? Magbabayad ka. Kadalasan na nagbabayad, peke ang nakukuha. Gusto mo shortcut ka agad. Yung iba, yung tax, para pa paano maano, ang daming babayaran. Hindi, ganito lang gawin natin. Ganito, ganito, ganito. So, sa kaka-shortcut natin, and we are not patient, mas napapahamak pa tayo. Yung ibang nag-counterflow, ano po nangyari sa ibang nag-counterflow? No? Nabaril. Dahil sa away, nagulo. And iba, If you're praying, Lord, gusto ko na tong item na to, pero wala akong pera, mag-credit card ka. Because we are not patient on having those. Isipin nyo, pag hinulog-hulugan nyo, yung interest on top of the interest, meron ka pang dun charges, dun sa mga penalty na hindi mo binayaran. Yung sinasabing 0.3%, per anum po yun. Pero hindi, ginagawa na ay, yung 3%, per month, hindi yan per anum, sorry. Yung interest na napapatong, na surcharge po yun. Ang hirap po pag nababaon ka sa utang, para kang nasa kumunoy. So, napakahirap pag hindi tayo marunong maghintay. But if we learn to wait, alam niyo yung parang sinabi niyo, meron kayo isang bagay na alam mong hindi mo iniisip bayaran kasi nabayaran mo na in cash. Yung mga bagay na gusto mong bilhin, <coughs> buy now, suffer later. ba? Diba? Gusto mong bilhin eh, pero pag nandiyan ang credit card, tinataguan mo. Huwag sabihin mo, wala ako. Wala daw po siya. Tinuturuan po yung mga anak natin magsinungaling. Mami, credit card daw po. Sabi mo, wala ako. Wala daw po siya. So, tinuturuan pa natin ng ating mga anak dahil sa mga luho natin. Let us learn patiently to the Lord. Alam niyo po, when you learn, we must keep on obeying God while waiting on Him. When you are waiting, katulad po ng mga waiter, ang waiter po hindi po nag-aantay. They are serving. That's why they called waiter. Ganon din po tayo. When we wait, hindi lang yung Lord, bless nyo po ako ng trabaho, pero hindi ka nag-help ng trabaho. Antayin ko may tumawag. Lord, pag walang tumawag ngayong araw, bukas, antayin ko po. Isang taon na, wala pang tumatawag. Bakit? Hindi ka pala nagpasa ng resume. Antayin mo may... Parang gusto mo supernatural yung sagot ng Panginoon. <laughs> Binigyan din tayo ng talino sa kabigyan na tayong paa para lumakad at maghanap ng trabaho. No? Lahat po tayo, binigyan ng wisdom ng Panginoon. Even King David, hindi naman siya naging king kaagad. He has to be a servant. He has to be a shepherd. He has to be a warrior before he was king. And he has to wait until 40 years from the time of King Saul. Ilang years ang inintay ni, ni, uh, ni uh, Joseph the Dreamer para matupad yung pangako sa kanya ng Panginoon. It took him, no, his life. Kasi kailangan pang i-betray pa siya ng kanyang kapatid. Kailangan pa siyang makulong. At hindi lang yon Kailangan pa siyang gulpihin sapagkat uh, pinagbintangan siya ni Potiphar. So these things, Joseph have to wait for God to answer the promise. And even Caleb have to wait. But while waiting, he is serving the Lord. While are we waiting? While we are waiting on the Lord, let us continue to obey, read His word, and serve the Lord. In Numbers chapter 14 verse 24, but because my servant Caleb has a different spirit and follow me wholeheartedly, I will bring him into the land he went to 
and his descendants will inherit it. We must fight the deception of the mind and instead believe that he is almighty. Alam niyo po, while waiting, may mga deception Satan. Hindi ka tutugun ng Panginoon. Hindi ka, ma, hindi ka magiging successful. No! We are God's children. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are God's children. You are God's child. We are God's children. Tayo po ay anak ng Diyos. And whatever we prayed for, alam niyo po na ang Panginoon po ang patuloy na tutugon. This is the result on waiting on the Lord. In Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31, pakibasa po, 1, 2, 3, go. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. Ito po yung naramdaman ni Caleb. When he was waiting on the promise of God, sabi, for those who wait on the Lord will gain new strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. No, they will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. The more that we serve God, the more that we wait on the Lord, the more that we obey God, the more that we get stronger and stronger each day. Purihin po ang Panginoon doon. And by 2018, yes, palakpakan po natin natin, Panginoon. By 2018, we will continue to grow and grow and grow in His Word, in His love, and in His wisdom. So what is our life application in waiting on the Lord by being patient? I must learn to be patient in everything. Yung kaninang testimony po namin ni Sheila, when she was writing all our prayer requests, hindi po overnight may tugon. May mga, may mga talon-talon. Nag-pray kami ng, ng bahit lupa. Una, nag-pray kami ng wedding. Nag-pray kami ng magkaroon ng anak. After the wedding, binigyan kami ng, pang- ng panganinanak si Shikaina. Then, Lord, siguro paalis na kami kasi tumatas na yung renta ng bahay namin. We prayed for a house and lot. Eh, during that time, nag po si Sheila. Pero nung nag si Sheila, that was the time when God blessed us with a house and lot. So, another answered prayer. We were praying, Lord, Medyo nung 1997, ano po ang 12,000 aman po yung hulog namin sa bahay, nasa in-house. <coughs> We prayed, Lord, may, may provision be upon us. I applied it for my salary, uh, for my ano, yung housing loan sa amin. Then ang ginran sa akin loan, the whole amount, alam niyo po yung monthly, from 12,000 to 3,400. Akin si katapusan pa. Ang mangyari, 1,700 a month lang ako. Ay, akin si katapusan magbabayad. Dahil ko pa yung renta namin sa bahay na 6,000. And even we prayed for another child. Lord, babae na anak namin. Alam niyo po, tinugon. After, uh, after ilang years, talagang pagtugon, lalaki. Mas gwapo pa sa akin. So, nasa, <laughs> ayun, <look. laughs> Ibig sabihin, God answered prayer. And after which, Lord, dalawa na pamilya ko, ay dalawa, sorry, dalawa na anak ko, di pamilya. <laughs> well, sorry, kukonfess ko sana eh, pero... Dalawa na yung anak ko, Lord, kailang, lumalaki na yung pamilya ko, medyo kailangan ko na lang increase. Lord, God no, granted the promotion. Alam niyo po, pag nireview po namin yung mga prayers and answered prayers, walang na-miss out po ang Panginoon. He is faithful in us for the past years. Purihin po ang Panginoon. Let us learn to be patient as we obey God. Let us learn to be patient in everything. How do we live by faith? Confidence in God. Ano po application? Let us depend on God and count the blessings. Let us be obedient to God. Let us stop. No. Stop disobeying and continue or start obeying by reading God's word and applying God's word. And in patience, let us be patient in all things. In everything, we must be patient as we work, wait on the Lord. Let us live by faith. on 2018. Happy New Year po sa inyong lahat. And as we will be celebrating this New Year,